it's Hello. back to the gym, but with conditions. So you go straight to the bathroom, okay, if you can. There's hand washing and equipment is cleaned before the workouts can begin. Like 10 on one leg and then you're going to switch. Clients have a set space and the trainer keeps back too. Like a lot of times people thought personal training was like we're touching, every, no, you're, you're not, you don't have to. The owner hopes okay. the precautions will of, be enough. A little bit of like nervousness still, but it's like more of an excited nervousness, I guess, because um, we've, we've done what we can. You're like this, okay? Many of his clients this switch thing. to online personal training, yeah, but prefer yeah, yeah. being at the gym. For me, I think it's really important to stay physically active. And so being a part of this gym and this community um, is worth that risk. Happy to be back and doing something physical and getting my mind off everything that's been going on. And, yeah. For group activities, it's more complicated. Take spin classes, usually done in tight clusters. This Vancouver company was swamped with demand when it announced it was reopening, but it's had to relocate to a warehouse to accommodate physical distancing. So we've introduced the comeback tour and we sold out within five minutes in Vancouver for the first week and waitlist is through the roof. Officials say transmission rates have gone down enough in BC for gyms and other businesses to reopen. It's the new normal. We can do things, we can go back to doing things that we did before, but in a different way. For business owners, different means fewer customers at one time and less profit. Despite restrictions being eased, many fitness centers in BC remain shuttered, including those run by local governments. But for enthusiasts, today's move is welcome. To come back here and even just to see people, even if they're six feet away, it's, it's just nice. With hopes, this test works. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Port Moody, BC.